welcome to 27th of july's holy blessing supreme father talks about solitude and about having a powerful experience so that we can increase our stage of concentration so may you stay in solitude and have a powerful experience and give others that too by spending a minute in a concentrated stage so if we remain in a concentrated stage which we're going to explore right now in the explanation what all different forms of concentrated stages are there then we can give others also to the experience of being in that stage so father says to be in solitude means to stabilize yourself in a powerful state solitude doesn't mean that you run away from people or uh, you try to avoid people or you run away from noisy places no even if there's noise around you and if you have the power of love to connect you to the creator god father then you know the ears won't listen to all that noise around you they'll be concentrated on the creator so you can stabilize yourself in the seed stage and you can become a light and might house now what is the seed stage the original stage of me being the seed of my whole drama on this earth even before i got into this drama i was completely powerful completely pure completely happy content i was completely loveful peaceful i was full of knowledge and i was full of bliss as a soul that is the complete stage of the seed full of all the things and irrespective of what the worldly situation or things are happening around me it doesn't matter i am completely perfect seed state just like my creator so or you can become a light and might house that means i am giving the same peace and power and love and happiness spreading it through my thought vibrations in the form of light my thoughts turn into light i don't have to think i am sending white light i am thinking peaceful thoughts and they themselves become light or they themselves become a frequency of light and give light and might to the world or you can give others an experience of the avikt stage by stabilizing yourself in the angelic stage an angel is someone who's not fallen an angel is someone who is not thinking about worldly things a fallen angel is someone who's stuck in the worldly aspects of life worldly things relationships money everything but an angel is someone who's doing everything taking care of their worldly life taking care of the family taking care of the money taking care of the business taking care of the job and still being able to detach from it being lighter and saying that god you are my guide you are able to show me the light and you have all the other angels to guide me any time when i want them to be stage by stabilizing yourself in the angelic stage so we can help other also souls also to feel like an angel feel lighter in the life if you become concentrated and stabilize yourself in this stage any of the above for a minute or a second imagine you can benefit yourself and others a great deal you'll become lighter yourself you'll make others also very light in the mind and in the heart you simply need to practice this now that practice can be done early in the morning 4 to 4:45 which we have every day early morning meditation sessions you can join them and if you're able to do that it's wonderful if you're not able to do that it's okay it takes practice to reach to that level and it has to come from your heart most importantly and if otherwise you can do it another time in the evening or before sleeping also that's a very beautiful time to do it om shanti